I must say, before we start, that if you haven't used my tools before, specifically if you haven't used my Hammer++ installer, skip to the time shown on screen. If you have, please follow my instructions. So first of all, you want to open up Steam, you want to go to Library, you want to go to Tools, and just select Tools, and you want to scroll down to Source SDK Base 2013 multi uh, Multiplayer. Right click, Properties, Local Files, Browse. You want to go to Bin. And if you want to archive your configurations, you might not be able to, but if you have some precious files in there, I'd recommend backing them up. Other than that, just delete the folder and delete the executable down here. So that's what you need to do to get rid of the uh, old version, which didn't work, I apologize. To install Hammer++ for Gary's mod using my automatic installer, you will need to first obviously install Gary's mod, which can be done by installing it by clicking on the button here but obviously I've got it installed so it says play for me. Next you'll need to install Source SDK Base 2013 Multiplayer which can be found by clicking up here, selecting tools, and selecting games or one of you got selected and scrolling down until you see Source SDK Base 2013 Multiplayer. As you can see I've already got it installed but you want to uh, install it, there'll be an install button here just install it and there you go. Once you've got both games installed uh, we can move on to the installer. So this is the installer, it's a bit rudimentary. Uh, so first of all you want to select your Gary's Mod directory, which is the, 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 the parent one, the one with the capital Gary's Mod. So you can already see I've been here. So uh, Gary's Mod, so just double click and click open. You don't want this one, you only want this one. If you, see, look, if you look carefully you can see this one has a capital G, this one has a lowercase g. You want to select the one with the um, uppercase G. However, if you do accidentally go into a folder, you can always just go back and then select Gary's Mod and click open because sometimes Windows is buggy and it. Uh, basically, you just want to select this path. And you want to do a similar thing with Source SDK Base 2013 Multiplayer. So here we go Source SDK Base 2013 Multiplayer. Click install. Here, download the version, unpack it, extract it, and here we get a message saying Hammer Plus Plus files moved successfully but we're not finished. A folder should have opened, find Hammer Plus Plus.exe in there and launch it. Select the game configuration, click OK, then close Hammer Plus Plus once loaded. After that, click Configure Hammer Plus Plus for Gary's mod up here. So if we press the button, it says the installation cannot continue until you launch Hammer Plus Plus once. That is because the first time we launch Hammer Plus Plus, it will actually generate the configuration files for us, which is very handy. So double click, select any profile you want, it doesn't matter at the moment, just load it up, and once it's loaded up like this, just close it. So now we can go back to my program, click configure. Would you like to add all the FGD files? Uh, basically this scans for all the FGD files in your Gary's Mod directory. Uh, might as well, so just click yes. Hammer Plus Plus has been installed and configured. If you wish to open it now, press yes. Yep. So now we've got special Gary's mod, but we're not done yet. I will show you what to do when it comes to compiling. So we've opened a Minecraft map. This is using textures from the Gary's mod directory, so you can just put textures in the Gary's mod directory and it all works fine. But what if you want to compile it? Well, you go to File, Run Map, and you don't want to use this menu you don't. What you want to do is that you want to click on expert down here and choose whatever you want to do in your combo box. So this combo box contains configurations for many different versions of your map. So fast will essentially compile it using the fastest ways possible. Uh, really good if you want to check out um, how the lighting looks without fully having high quality lighting or testing out logic and stuff like that. HDR, so these final ones, these are essentially ones which are fit and ready for release. So we've got HDR final, which means it has high, di high dynamic range. Uh, if you're doing custom skyboxes, I wouldn't really recommend HDR because that's a whole nother story. I usually stick with LDR. So unless you're making a map which uses HDR textures and you're perfectly fine with it and you test it after compiling, uh, go with HDR. But if you just want to release a map and you're perfectly fine with not having HDR, just do LDR. That's perfectly fine. And additionally, if you're testing an aspect of the map which does not really require uh, lighting or visibility, you can always uncheck these. So these will essentially just skip 
the visibility test and the lighting test. So for example, if you want to check that door opens if a player walks into a certain spot, you can always uncheck these. It's, these it will basically just make them not run. And if you want to make them run again, just check them. And there you go. So I'm going to choose Gary's mod fast and we're going to compile. So, here we are. This is a map compiled with Hammer++. So, that's really it. You want to stick with the advanced option for compiling, you don't want to use the simple menu. Mainly because that menu is hard coded, whilst the expert menu can be configured to do whatever you want. Now before I end this video, I must issue a personal apology for my lack of quality in general, but mainly regarding my Hammer++ installer. I don't want to sit here all day pretending to be uh, crying, but I want to say that I am deeply disappointed in myself for releasing a program which was inadequate in its function, and I apologize. And that is also why the beginning of the video contained a little thing for people who had already watched my previous videos, so that if they wanted to fully install the program properly, they can simply delete the Hammer++ folder and the Hammer++ executable to reinstall it. But anyway, um, I'm really sorry for this. If you do encounter any bugs, please leave the comments below. Please do, as I really, it's important for me to just fix these programs. So thank you for watching. Sorry for having to deal with me being a bit emotional. Um, I hope you enjoy this program, I hope it's useful for you, if you have any issues leave a comment below, thank you for watching.